Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ethan Ekstrom. I own Ekstrom Home Designs and today I'll be taking over Chief Architect's account. So today we're starting off in beautiful Beacon Hill, Boston. And I'm gonna kind of run you through my day and uh, what it looks like to own a design build firm using Chief Architect. So my plan for today guys is to start in Boston and then head to Easton where my office is walk you through some job sites. Those are all projects that are design build using Chief. And then I'll bring it to the office and show you how we use it in the office setting, you know, to kind of draw out and plan for those projects. Hey guys, so on this project that I just put on the last couple slides on the story, um, it was very important that I utilize Chief's, you know, rendering and 3D modeling tools because the clients really needed a, a visual representation of what it was going to look like. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape. It, it definitely gives the clients confidence beforehand on how their investment will look in real life. So the goal is to get it as close to the plans as possible, but you know, with the level detail that we can get into with Chief, it's, you know, the uh, possibilities are endless. So we're back on another site, guys. This is a custom home in Easton that we're doing in a uh, new development. And the roof plan that I just posted on the last story is a detail that I like to draw off these guys because this roof had maybe four or five different pitches, you know, depending on if it was the garage or the bump out, the bay window, the main roof, the porch, etc. So I sent that right to the framer and um, he's able to kind of do his thing without us having to bother him during the process. All right, guys, so now we're on a different site in Easton and I just posted the plans on the previous slide. And as you can see, we're wrapping up the siding and we kind of went with some cool materials here. Now, this was all laid out in chief. So I really wanted to make sure that this exterior worked and it worked well materials wise, roof lines, overhang, stuff like that. So I'll kind of walk you guys through this one and, and how we all laid it out. So I'll show you guys the details back in the office soon, but like all these were were laid out in chief so that the framers and the exterior finish guys know what's going on these are square cut rafters with the trim you know following that that size and shape carried around to this bump out and you know we're drawing the metal roof using um you know molding poly lines in the software and we're plugging in the dutch lap we're plugging in this water table with the one by three you know beveled on top it, it's all this stuff that when you lay it out in the plans ahead of time it makes the install go so much smoother you know all the casing can be laid out and uh that's kind of how we prefer to do things now here's that rear elevation that i just put on the last slide so you can see how crucial it is to get the details right in the planning process you know one of our value adds is to have clients come into the office and sit down and look at the computer screen while I use Chief in front of them, you know, that's how quick you can plan out some of these details and it just saves so much time, effort, money, and energy in the field. All right, so now we're back in the office here and today's task is taking these actual blueprints. These are from 1954. We're gonna translate these into Chief. Um, these will serve as my existing conditions measurements. I went out there to the site and took a look and now that's where I'm at so far with the model. So, so far to come to this point, um, less than two hours in, and that includes drawing the first floor, the foundation, the roof, the siding, windows, roof trim, everything, plugging it in. And then from here, I'm gonna finalize the floor plans and then, you know, draw an existing plan and then a proposed plan.
Hey guys, so we're kind of wrapping up the day on site today. Um, it wasn't really a big office day, kind of a hectic uh, Tuesday on site and kind of running through some stuff in the office, a lot of calls and whatnot, but that seems to be typical. Um, but just kind of wanted to run you through how I use Chief Architect to, you know, run a, a design build firm south of Boston. And that's an insight to my day. So I'm back in the office and I uh, just wanted to show you guys this before I take off. This is a project in Canton, Mass that I'm finalizing. We gotta tweak it a little bit to fit better on the lot, but just one of the examples of how I can use Chief to present you know, visual products to my clients and, and help them envision what the final product will be. So, so with that, I'll end my day, but I'd like to thank Chief Architect for letting me take over today. And uh, thanks for everybody for interacting with the stories. Feel free to check out my page. I'll tag it here below.